Ahead of the arrival of the celebrant, members of her Matlasana community fill the hall as much as COVID-19 protocols allow. Soon, Mama Johanna Mazibugu, who is fondly called Gogo, arrived for the ceremony. The mother of seven who has only two surviving children is said to be the oldest person living in South Africa. There is no birth certificate to verify this, but her national identity card bears the date she claims she was born. And if you go by this, she turned 127 years in May 2021. To mark it, she said she had just one request. I asked her whether which church is she? She told me that she's having a church, but it has been a long time that she didn't see the reverend or the pastor or the minister of the church. Then she requested that we, may we please uh, give her a Holy Communion. Gogo Johanna got her wish of the sacrament of the Holy Communion and the rest of the party got on the way. abused are always neglected so we want to encourage our South Africans that they must take care of the elderly people when they go to their celebrations they must make sure that they leave uh, uh, elderly people being under the care of some people that will not abuse them. Madam Johanna Mazibuka has lived in Maklosana all her life the best years of which she says are those spent caring for her husband as she grew up in a very strict family. Her daughter-in-law, who takes care of her, says she has no regrets being there for her up to this point. And to us, the celebrant says, younger people should work hard, get married, look after their homes, and respect elders. On her secret to a long life, she says it's the grace of God, as she sang to us the Setswana version of the Lord's Prayer. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Betty Divya, Channels Television News.